sports straight. You better get you better get your sports straight. Look it up. Google it, fool. Google it. To a new video, we are out here today. Don't hate the play, hate the game. Yo, don't hate the play, hate the game. What are we doing today? Today we gotta get some stuff done. Today I gotta go run some errands, do some grown-up things. Fit check. I haven't done that in a minute. We're in the kitchen. We got stuff. It's clean, but we still got water bottles and stuff everywhere. Whatever. We got the uh, the Carhartt beanie that's blue, the zip up hoodie that's blue. We got the Tacoma window cleaning Grandpa Dub work shirt, and then we got underneath there the Tacoma shirt underneath there. I need to start making. Well, it's happening. Talk about it. Manifest it. It's going on. I'm going to start making clothes and t-shirts and sweatshirts and stuff here soon. Check out the website down below, www.forevercrusaders.com. Okay, you can wear a beanie like this, but if you can wear a beanie like this and have it keep it on your head all day long, that's how I wear a beanie. We're going to go get some uh, breakfast. That's what I've decided. I got a little bit of money, and I about to go get I haven't ate breakfast this early in a long time. I haven't left the house this early. Well, I lie. I haven't ate breakfast in a long time. I usually just eat a couple meals here and there during the day. But today I feel like eating breakfast. So we're going to go to the spot if they got it. And then i just been doing a new thing. Try it out. I've only been drinking coffee one time a day. Like when I make it at home with my uh, espresso machine. I only make coffee once a day now. And then when I go to the coffee shop I get green tea and honey. Check it out. Try it out. It's super good. It's probably the second best thing that I've put in my mouth. Or like that. We're here at Target. And the Target over here, I don't know what it is, but every time I go into Target, there's always hot girls in Target. That's the spot. That's the spot in Target. Target's the spot if you want to get hot chicks. I haven't had a blueberry muffin in such a long time. There's five years plus, maybe. I haven't eaten one of these. I used to eat one of these every day. I remember, like, I used to go to the gym, work out, go get coffee and a muffin, and then go work on the house with my grandpa. That's what I used to do back in the day, but I switched the coffee up for green tea. This is what I'm doing right now. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Bomb. What are you doing? Midday on a Tuesday is not the time to go to Target. I tell you that. I tell you what, midday, midday, Tuesday, Target is not popping off. I don't wanna, I don't wanna sound like I'm complaining or making fun of people, but when you go out to the store and you're walking behind somebody, maybe 10 feet behind them, or maybe six feet behind them, and the person in front of you smells like they just sprayed a whole can of Axe on themselves. It's not, that's not polite. It's not pleasant. It's not polite. It's not pleasant. It's, it's none of the above. And it smelled, yeah, I could smell, I was so, it was like, bro, you're trying way too hard. I'm, I'm trying to, you're way, I don't know. You smell like a can of Axe, and I'm walking six to ten feet behind you. That's not cool. If I can smell you two aisles away, and I know it's like Axe, that's stupid, you know? You don't need, even it, like, stop using Axe. Stop using the Axe body spray, first and foremost. Just stop, because it doesn't smell good. None of them smell good. If you're still using Axe, um, please just stop using it and be an adult and go buy like a real nice bottle of cologne and some like, maybe some lotion that smells like the cologne, you know? So maybe you don't, Need to use the cologne all the time. You can just use lotion and like rub it on your body and your stuff, and you smell good when you get close. I don't want to smell you two aisles away. I'm sorry. Stop. Stop using Axe. 
Stop using any type of body spray that's not cologne. I may sound like I'm hating, but I'm not. I'm just stating facts. Stop using it. Stop spraying it all over your body. Stop using a whole can of Axe and spraying it all over your body. And I'm walking two aisles away from you and I can still smell you? I don't think so. Sunday is the time to go to Target. I found some really cool stuff in Target that I want to get for the bathroom. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? You got this thing. That's what this is for. Right there. You scratch on this, not that fool. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? No, but Target, Target is, the time to go to Target is Sunday, or even on a Saturday afternoon, like a weekend. I feel like a Sunday morning is when they come out. They come out on a Sunday morning or a Saturday morning or sometime on the weekend. But I found some cool stuff that I want to get for the bathroom when I redo the bathroom. I found this one thing on Amazon, but it was kind of expensive, but they have this uh, dresser, not a dresser, a cabinet thing. It's actually really a bookshelf, but I'm going to try to make it like, it's, you know, get one and, and see if it fits in here. I'm going to get rid of this thing right here. This thing is like taking up way too much room. I've never really finished my bathroom, so that's why it looks like that. And I want to get this uh, bookshelf and make it into a cabinet and put it right here. Get rid of this, put it right here. Boom. Paint, first and foremost, paint the walls and just redo the counters. Make it look nice in here. It's nice, but it's not done. It never was done because I, when I was doing it, I kind of um, got excited because we were all done with this whole area of the house and I was just trying to rush things because I really wanted to move in and that's and then my grandpa really cool dude God rest his soul he showed me like a five minute tip quick tutorial on how to do the I did this uh, tile in the bathroom in the shower and it didn't really turn out as well because he just gave me a five minute thing on how to do it so my caulking or my grouting but the grout is really not that good so I want to paint paint the tile all white paint it all white in the bathroom so it's just bright because it's small the bathroom is small but it's nice you know two people can fit in the bathtub not in the bathtub but in the shower uh, how do I know that from experience filming skateboarding on the phone is completely different than filming a bike trick on the phone I just don't know how to set it up by myself. If I had the skateboard and I had my, I have a tripod from my phone, I can't find it though. So if I had that gone, I probably could get the trick that I did because I did something really cool. I like bunny hopped over on this like ledge thing, rode it and then bunny hopped off. It was pretty sick. I should go back there and do it again. But then I rode my bike to my dad's house because it's really not that far away from UPS and you know, I'm not trying to brag or say anything, but like the way that I changed my life, like working out a lot, eating healthy, healthier than my healthy food that I've been doing. Like I'm just on this whole different type of food routine. I don't know. I just feel like way better stuff is working. My legs don't hurt and riding the bike for three miles, four miles is nothing anymore. It's nothing to me anymore. I remember riding the bike three or four miles. I'd be my legs would be tired and my legs aren't tired after I'm riding the bike from you know where my grandma Jane's house is to UPS going around UPS jumping downstairs doing all this stuff and then riding my bike to my dad's house my legs don't hurt anymore but when I rode my bike to my dad's house I was hanging out with him because he's all bummed out because the car was originally the Subaru was originally my grandma's and my grandma gave it to him my grandma just recently passed away not too long ago so it's kind of sentimental to him to have the Subaru and he was kind of down and out so I came over and we hung out and then when we hung out the cops came random the cop came because my dad was waiting for the longest time they took the report when I left he gave me a ride back it was funny I should have had the camera I can't wait to just get this other camera that I've been talking about because once I get this other camera I'm filming everything so he took me back in his work van and then because I was all bundled up because it was cold and I had a my hoodie on my beanie on and my vest on and he drives a big uh, Ford f100 work truck 
work van. Um, it was so funny because we're driving down because he lives on the north end and then the way he gets to the north end, there's a lot of nice little houses over there. So we're driving in this van creeping because the streets are like this narrow, cars here, cars here, and the car comes down here and we're waiting, we pull off to the side, we're waiting. I was like, this reminds me of a scene from Home Alone because I had a beanie on, my dad, <laughs> it just looked like the wet bandits in the because we're in the van we're just driving down nice houses like creeping because the cars are so close together we're creeping in the van going real slow trying not uh, he called me the next morning saying that whoever stole the subaru robbed a convenience store and they got the license the footage out of the convenience store they got the license plate and then well this morning like four o'clock this morning they found the car with the people living in it they were like starting to live in it so I haven't seen it yet, and I know it's kind of messed up, but at least he got it back, and it's not like, I don't think it's fully trashed, but I hope it's not fully trashed to the point where it's like, gross. But I have a feeling that it's fully trashed and it's gross on the inside if they're starting to live in it. Disgusting.